forgot to film this because I was too hungry for breakfast, but I made some vegan pancakes for my first vegan breakfast and it was freaking delicious. I'll post a picture, but it was really good. I made it with birch blenders, plant-based pancake mix, and some Enjoy Life chocolate chips because I can't go without chocolate even in vegan week, really important. And then I threw some strawberries and maple syrup on top and it was really good. I almost forgot to use the vegan butter. I think it's like the earth balance one because I'm so used to just grabbing the stick of butter to grease the pan whenever I make pancakes. But I can't do that because it's vegan week. You know, old habits die hard. Hopefully I can stick with it the whole week and don't accidentally mess up and eat something that's not vegan. Just wanted to give a quick day one update. It's like 2.30 now and uh, I went to the store yesterday and got so many vegan groceries, I feel like, but I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to making actual vegan meals. So like this morning you saw that I made pancakes and I had like a late breakfast, so I've just been kind of snacking since then and also... I don't know, I just feel like I'm not getting in enough protein, which I obviously know how to get in enough protein. I have vegan protein powder. I had ordered vegan protein bars from Amazon, but they're still not here yet. So, so waiting on those, but I have options. But the problem is I didn't buy any sort of like tofu or tempeh, is that how you say it, tempeh? or any of the other like typical vegan protein options. I just didn't buy them. And typically if I'm hungry during the day and need to get in some protein, I have options like eating a yogurt or eating a regular protein bar or eating something with meat in it. And I don't have that option right now. So honestly, I'm struggling so far and it's only been a half day so i'm gonna try and figure out something to do to get in more protein and i thought i was being prepared yesterday by going to the store and buying a bunch of groceries but it turns out that i bought a bunch of fruits and vegetables and granola bars that aren't really protein bars and like <laughs> vegan mac and cheese and chips and cookies and stuff like that that is vegan and i'm glad that i have other snack options that aren't like the quote-unquote healthiest like most nutrient dense options because i know i'm gonna crave that stuff but i don't think i bought enough protein rich foods and i just got my shipment of built bars in but they have whey protein in them so i can't eat them this week so the main option that i have been snacking on these past couple of weeks for when i need a little bit extra protein i don't have that option this week so I'm going to try and figure it out and I will give you another update once I figure out some more protein heavy options. <laughs> It's 9 p.m. right now and I'm making a protein shake slash smoothie because I am still starving after dinner. I didn't eat that much throughout the day though. I didn't prepare very well and have any meals prepped. So we've got some banana down there, some coconut milk, ice, and I'm using some chocolate organ vegan protein powder, which is the protein powder that I use anyways because it just does a lot better with my stomach than traditional way so this is gonna be delicious and tastes like a chocolate shake and there's peanut butter in there that's the essential ingredient oh my gosh this looks so good cheers Luckily, my latte that I drink every day is already vegan anyways, so that didn't have to change, which is really nice. I just add in espresso, almond milk, and nut pops. Mm-hmm. 
It's so good. Also bought this natural bliss almond milk coffee creamer to bring to work with me because we have a coffee machine there and i need something to add to it because otherwise the coffee itself is a little gross and i definitely just needed something sweet to add to it packing one of these for work because I always get hungry midway through the morning and this is the only to go vegan snack I have really right now. So this is what we're gonna do until my protein bars get here. I'm so hungry and I'm waiting on my green chef food to get here. So in the meantime, we're gonna try this vegan mac and cheese. We'll see how it goes. I'm really slacking on my vegan food eating today because I am super hungry. I am cooking with tofu. For the first time ever, I've been terrified to cook with tofu for some reason. I've just always avoided it, even though I've always wanted to try and make something with it. I don't know if that's just me or if tofu is just scary to everyone, but I've been scared of it. So I'm gonna make this <sighs> Green Chef vegan meal, orange miso tofu. Looks really freaking good. And as you already know, I'm really freaking hungry. I'm gonna try and make this extra crispy. I feel like if it's squishy, I'm gonna hate it. I'm a big texture person when it comes to my food. So if this tofu is squishy at all, I already know I'm gonna be grossed out by it. I just hate things with a squishy texture. Like the idea of like oysters or calamari, things like that that are just like slimy and squishy. I can't do it. So I'm definitely not gonna be able to do squishy tofu. So I'm hoping that I can just crisp this boy up and it'll be good. Okay, so honestly, I have a really bad headache right now. It feels like I'm starting to get a migraine. So that's fun. Um, I always get headaches though when I'm not getting enough protein in my diet. Like I noticed that just not even eating vegan when I just am eating my normal diet, but I just haven't had enough protein. So I think that's the problem. So I made myself a vegan protein shake with Orgain and almond milk, and I started drinking that. It's actually really good. The chocolate fiber tastes like chocolate milk, so it's so tasty. But I'm hoping that helps. I don't know. I just had dinner too, and I had tofu, so I don't know why I'm so like lacking protein but i just don't think i got enough in throughout the day like for lunch i just had that bowl with like barely any beans or anything in it so i need to try a little bit harder to get more protein and more just nutrition in general in because i think i'm just not getting enough calories in general in my day these past two days and that's definitely affecting me negatively i feel really freaking tired like i've been pretty tired all day i've just been kind of out of it like in a daze i did the same thing yesterday where like i was just lazy with like what i was eating all day because I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> when it comes to eating vegan. Uh, last night I did the same thing where at like 9 or 10 p.m. I ended up making a protein shake and then after I drank that I felt way better. <laughs> so I need to try and squeeze more protein shakes in throughout the day and not wait till like 9 p.m. every night. It's the lesson learned from my first two days of veganism. I'm gonna drink this, watch some YouTube, and then go to bed. I'm home for lunch. Got my reheated Asian tofu bowl. It's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie, but eating tofu just makes me kind of sad. Like eating tofu as I'm biting into it makes me just wish that I was eating chicken, if that makes sense. I'm not a big fan of the texture, like it is a little too squishy for me. Maybe I cooked it wrong, I tried to cook it so it was like nice and crispy, but it's still squishy. But this is my lunch. It's still pretty tasty. I've been trying to eat more snacks today so that I'm not like starving by the end of the day. So hopefully that helps. 
I feel more energized today, but I'm still about to crush a Celsius because it just sounds good and it's vegan. So it's one good thing that I can have on this diet. <laughs> waiting outside the doctor's office right now to go into my appointment wanted to do a little update so so far today is actually going way better um i think that part of the problem or the main problem was that i just wasn't eating enough overall in general it wasn't the fact that it was vegan food it was just that i wasn't getting enough calories wasn't getting enough protein wasn't getting enough anything really so I really stepped up my game today made sure I was eating snacks consistently whenever I get hungry I typically eat a lot of snacks throughout the day when I'm eating my normal intuitive eating so I think that helped a lot and I'm feeling a lot better so fingers crossed we can stick with this I might go work out later I'm feeling pretty energized so I'll see how that goes and make sure to get protein in after I work out for sure since I've been struggling with that and we'll see how the rest of the day goes. Oh my gosh, this is probably my favorite vegan meal I've had so far. I got these ones from Green Chef and I am thrilled. Update. I'm walking home from work. I'm so freaking hungry. Like I feel like I haven't eaten anything today and I have eaten both breakfast and lunch but I didn't have any snacks today because I didn't bring any because I forgot so I want to eat a entire cow. So that's where I'm at. I'm gonna go eat a bunch of food and hopefully feel better. I don't know if vegans can have honey or not. I don't think they can because it comes from bees, but all I freaking want is some peanut butter and honey toast. But I'm gonna eat it with jelly because I don't wanna risk my vegan week for some honey. If I was gonna risk it, it wouldn't be for some honey. You know what I mean? Like I would get some milk chocolate before that or some like buffalo wings you know something like worth ruining vegan week for not some peanut butter honey toast So I'm gonna make this short and sweet because I've noticed that some of my outros are a little bit longer than they need to be. So vegan week in itself was, I'd say a success and also extremely hard. I got through it and I ate vegan every day, but it was also incredibly challenging for quite a few reasons. One, I'd say just finding vegan food options in general was a lot harder than I thought it would be. For some reason I expected to go to the grocery store and have like a huge vegan food section and just be able to basically get whatever I want and that was not the case. 
so maybe I shopped at the wrong store. I don't know. I tried Publix, I tried Target, I tried Trader Joe's, and I found options at all of them, but not nearly as many as I expected. Two, trying to get in enough calories and macronutrients, especially protein, throughout this week was very hard. Much harder than I expected. I thought that I knew so much about veganism, and honestly, that did not end up being the case at all. The thing is, I didn't know how to cook a real meal because I never had to try to before. For me, cooking with tofu just was not nearly as easy as cooking with chicken or cooking with beef that I'm used to cooking with because I had no idea what I was doing. On another note, when it comes to grocery shopping, it was very expensive. So eating vegan is just not realistic for everyone. It's not realistic for me right now at least with the foods that I was buying because I think I ended up spending like twice as much as I typically do at the grocery store just because I was buying vegan options. And I don't think that's always the case by any means. I think that if you've been vegan for a while, you probably know how to shop in a more budget-friendly way. But coming from someone who has no idea what they're doing and was just shopping for vegan groceries and basically buying everything that said the words vegan on it, it ended up being very pricey. Okay, let's get into how I ended up feeling throughout the week. So one, my energy levels were up and down to say the least. For the first two days, I felt exhausted all day. And I don't think it was strictly because I was eating vegan. I think it was more because I wasn't eating vegan in the right way by any means. I was eating mostly snacks throughout the day because I didn't know how to cook vegan food and I was too lazy to try. So the first two days I was just exhausted and I ended up like needing to drink like multiple protein shakes and just eat a ton of food by the end of the day after dinner because I had been lacking calories all day and my body didn't have the amount of energy that it needed to even just get through the day and then go to sleep. So I ended up basically, I wouldn't say binging by any means, that's a whole different topic, but I ended up eating probably more than half my calories by like dinner and then after dinner snacks, which is not great for the long term at all <laughs> for a lot of reasons. It's not because you're going to magically gain weight if you eat food past 8 p.m. or anything like that, that's a myth, but you need energy throughout the day. So waiting until like dinner and after dinner to eat half of your calories throughout the day isn't gonna give you energy to get through your day-to-day -day tasks. So that wasn't good and I learned my lesson the first couple days and made sure that I was actually eating full meals for breakfast and lunch and snacking throughout the day like I normally do. By like Thursday, Friday, I was feeling pretty much back to my normal energy levels. I felt like I had the energy to work out and I didn't feel like I was losing focus and just in a daze all freaking day like I did early in the week for the most part. <laughs> Number two, bloating. So I was very curious about this because the past few months to a year, I guess, I have been feeling way more bloated than I normally do and I didn't really know why. And after this week, I am beginning to definitely think that I may be lactose intolerant. First of all, my mom's lactose intolerant, so it could just run in the family, I guess. This week, I definitely felt, I wouldn't say like my bloating was magically cured by any means. It actually stayed the same most of the week, but I think that part of that had to do with the fact that I was eating a lot more raw veggies just because I didn't have as many other options as I typically have. And eating a lot of raw veggies will cause bloating in a lot of people because of all the fiber. So I think that it stayed generally the same, but by like Friday and Saturday today, I definitely am starting to feel like a decrease in bloating. And then number three, digestion. My digestion has been great this entire week. It's been all over the place this past year. Like, I won't go into details, but like basically every like normal-ish digestion problem you can think of, I've had in this past year. I just haven't been able to find anything that's actually helped with the digestion problems. Like I said though, I think that I'm probably lactose intolerant. I'm not diagnosed, so don't take my word for that. 
but just based on what I have experienced and seen in my own health compared to what I'm eating, I think that that might be the problem. So we're gonna see, and I'll obviously want to get an actual diagnosis from a doctor to see if that's the case, but based on this week, I definitely feel an improvement. All right, overall experience, my bloating and digestion both definitely improved, but like I said, I think that is due to being potentially lactose intolerant and not just eating vegan in general. Although if you also struggle with dairy in any way, it might benefit you too to cut out dairy or at least cut down. But if you don't, then just keep eating dairy and you're gonna be fine. <laughs> Overall, my energy levels throughout the week were very up and down, but definitely lower in general than they typically are. Um, I think that if I did veganism for longer and actually started to figure out more meals and food choices for myself, that would improve a lot. So I don't think that had to do with eating vegan food. I think it had to do with not going about it in the right way and not giving myself enough calories and macronutrients overall. So that was my fault and not the fault of the vegan diet. <laughs> Third, grocery shopping was expensive, but I'm sure there's ways around that. I didn't look into it at all, but I'm sure if I researched a little bit and talked to some of my vegan friends, I would find ways to not spend so much money on vegan food. If you liked this video and want to see more challenges, product reviews, and other healthy lifestyle tips and tricks from us, be sure to like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and we look forward to seeing you in future videos. See you later.